He even need us in the first place. Your mother would give Steph a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay, and this is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad, a light commentary playthrough here on the PlayStation 5. I just walked back into under Junon, and Rana started talking to me. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. He did take like seven HP and damage though, so I don't know if it was an achievement for him coming back without any damage taken. If there was, then I obviously failed it. Get hit by like one random wind AoE. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Isn't Priscilla just a dope oil? Yes, sir. All right! Giddy up! Oh, what's his face? Your package will make tracks when you send it on Chocobac. Huh. Children of the planet, listen. Heed the voice of our great mother. <gasps> Hear how she weeps. How she suffers. All right, trying to find the other side quest. The elevator's been shut. Dolphin? Ah. Uh -huh. Quit. Ribbit. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? This is a no grown-up zone. Get lost. You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a fraud. Hey, Finn, who are they? <laughs> not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? <laughs> I tried to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Ah. Kettle, kettle. Aerith Frog is a bow in her head. Look at Aerith Frog is just big. He still has a gun arm. He has his shades on. What's Frog Red? Come on, Red.
He has little feather ears. Frog. Yo, it actually does damage. Ow, I'm dying. Heals you. Or something. Playing Fall Guys. This is a Fall Guys trap. <laughs> this is Fall Guys. It's Frog Guys. Final, final Frog Guys. Frog Fantasy Guys. Think you two can handle it? At the last over a minute and 20 seconds, but all you get are enfeeblement rings. So I found out what enfeeblement rings are for, by the way. I talked about this in my remake playthrough. I didn't understand if they were for something that was like a boss strategy where you enter in as frog to avoid something, but no, it's for 1v1ing bosses or 2v1ing bosses. So you can frog one or two of your allies so they don't do anything in the fight something like that basically it's for players to do challenge runs Yo, Kato. i played fall guys before i played fall guys in uh in final fantasy 14. Assuming you didn't get me hit by the slow ones to knock you off. It's definitely getting fast. Just me and Aerith? Oh god, okay. Not bad for first round. Almost there. What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <clears throat> hey! Owned. Ribbit. 
Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> oh, Tifa like doing that. That's fun. Well, we gotta go for the full score. Where's the kid? Oh, way over here. Yeah, might as well. Oh, it's pretty close. Oh, someone's already gone. A lot more airtime than you'd think. Oh god, okay. Both of the things I was on were gonna fall off. <laughs> that would have been bad regardless. That's unfortunate. Probably just RNG what platforms fall. Was that Barrett? Fifteen seconds. You gotta. That's rough. Give it another try here. Goes to one pizza slice at the end. No, Barrett. Camera constantly rotating is actually a little disorienting. as easy as it looks because the top and bottom spinning is uh different different timing see they probably got to go way to the back of the platform way to the front of the platform you need as much desync as possible Caught up to me really fast. Because you can't just chase the, uh, top layer because it will catch up to you if you're you get you get animation locked well that's not nice wow oh 
Unlucky. Then it's a 50 50 every time because if you're on the platform that's falling off you're just you're done so in that last section if you're not on the it's just annoying i don't want to sit here and just keep spamming this but i also want to not have to come back to this later hmm Live editing engaged. Well, I gotta do a Super Saiyan for that. Gotta get the exact like pacing and timing of my jump. And I also got lucky on the 50 50. It was all about getting that 50 50 at the end. All right, it's enough frog. All right, so is that all? It still says there's one more person to. Oh, where the heck are you? The Moore twins. You're up. You're up on the next level. We should have never let them build a reactor. It's like a top of a building. Nothing here. Nothing there. All clear. Another day in a life without sun. Many, many Oh, up here. Probably, but I don't get the feeling he's got any money. <laughs> oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? All right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Oh no. Three gil. <laughs> Go Anakin on them. Come on. Wow. They're the double D duo. Doe. I 
What is that? Ogre. Oh, just ogre. Just has lots of. Is it just a seven? Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of good. locked in the top lane so he can't even make enough points up point to 12 pretty good I'll avenge you. <laughs> so dramatic. Yeah, so it's just a it's a two drop five. You wanna drop in the middle. Oh, you can't drop middle lane. You have to drop top or bottom lane. Copies me. Yeah. I'm just going to be a bully. Sorry. It's kind of a rude first few turns. Oh, no, hold on. This poor kid is never going to play Queen's Blood again. Oh no! Yikes! Oh my god, 32 to 0. Sorry, dude. Oof. Aww, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three kill? No, oh, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. So we're talking about this yesterday about the economy of the seven world. Three gil, is that like three dollars? Or because Japanese game is at three yen, which is not even equivalent to like is that like 30 cents in American parlance? So like, what is the, 
the economy. I mean, you could you could think that Gil is pretty yen similar, but I don't know. That was like the most ruthless game of Queen's Blood I've ever played. Thirty-two Your to zero. Tracks when you send it on oh, poor kid. Alright, main story. Talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. Mm. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Mm. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. <laughs> so we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then... Squeak, squeak. I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey. We're sorry, really. <laughs> but we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Awesome. All right then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Dolphin. Okay. Which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. You will not be able to return to under Junon for some time. Let me go have a little sit first. Just let me know, okay? It's a little, uh... EONR. Point of no return moment, so... I think we're fine on everything else. Everything is done. Double checking. Double checking. Yaw. Just if we go into combat like immediately, you know. Have all of our juice. Okay. You wouldn't believe how quiet these were. Let's go. All good to go? Yeesh. Follow Mr. Dolphin. Oh, this is a tease for the minigame? It's the mini game right now. Hmm. So it's like Chocobo riding in the water. Come on, Cloud. You got this.
Oh, this is where the motion controls come in. Oh, God. It's not what I thought it was. Okay. You don't have to, but it's definitely noticeable if you do. This is uh, very fast. Right. Hmm. Fast enough. <laughs> nice going, man. <laughs> That's gonna be a mini game later. That's what the motion controls for. Cause you can tilt to add angle. Good wet shoes. You've been a huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and a uh, dog. I'll see you later. He's a cat. He has a lion's face. <laughs> hey, Mark! We're good to go down here!
Wow, that cutscene was gorgeous. Just the quality of it is crazy. in person I don't care that we're just walking up all right security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Looks like it can maybe angle itself up and down a bit. Maybe it has some side to side actuation, but it really doesn't have much of a. Any idea what that is? The high wind. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey. Beggars can't be choosers. One day, baby. <laughs> Have you seen the engines on the high wind? That baby's got four of them, each with their own cool. Rufus Shinra is a total hunk. That's the ticket. Hmm? Do you need something? Elevator's just over there if you want to get back to town. Are Shinra guards just meant to be stupid? They don't have any questions for where these people came from, what the big sword on this guy's back is, one guy has a gun for an arm. Just gotta make a good impression on you. I'm so nervous that I couldn't sleep a wink last night. It's kinda stupid. No disturbances to report in either sector. Check their IDs and screen all their luggage, sir. There was nothing. Next one. Now remember, the whole world will be watching the events here today. We cannot Man, the scope of the high wind is crazy. It's hard to tell how big it was when it was old pixel version. But oh my gosh. Lorge. Them be for now. Hmm. 
Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. That cutscene both says a lot and a very little. You're good. Easy does it now. Please keep your distance. We're trying to work. If you're here for the parade, it's down below. <laughs> Different what color. Is it? Oh, are you trying to get to the town below? Just take the elevator. What kind of range do you think a cannon? They're so awkwardly polite. I can't wait to see the mobile unit tear it up. 
Even if their leadership is, uh... The corrupt dictatorship run by pure money and corporate greed. Uh, sorry, corporatocracy, I guess is what it would be called. Thing, just giving scope to how big the structure is. Case in point. So, Cloud, what can you tell us about Juno? It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor, a critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and sea ports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? <laughs> uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it, and make our city proud! Oh, crap. Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. That's another minigame coming up. It's in the trailer, you have to do the march formation. Oh, uh, my controller's rumbling so much it's like hurting my hands. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. <laughs> First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says, he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> the city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Fred, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. Fair. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. Alright, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to tell Tifa and Aerith they're not doing what they have, what the hell they want to do. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. Oh my god. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. 
three steps back, if you please. <laughs> what? This scene was for Miyazaki. Where's... Oh. Something happened if you walk over here, though? No. The game even tells you to go away. Look so tiny in these uniforms for some reason. They look so. And I guess Aerith without her dress on. Well, I might be the thumbnail right there. I got a lot of cut, cut scene thumbnail opportunities so far. I mean, fair. June on when you're ready. Better hurry. You don't want to be the reason your team is disqualified. Um. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope. Hold it. seeing the three of you at practice am i to assume that you simply forgot sorry sir <gasps> sorry sir you're sorry do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is do you maggot form check now you will give your commander a flawless performance and if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! <laughs> now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing <laughs> over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Look like the different cloud voice is so weird. Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Uh-oh. Clear? Yeah, so it's it's the this game's dance. A okay, red diamonds is tap the button. Yellow pentagons repeatedly tap the button. Teal hexagons hold the button. Oh, you tap during the. Oh, it's even more complicated. Ooh. 
Red one, yellow lot, teal hold. Uh oh. <sighs> Let's see what you've got. Now, begin! Hit it enough times. Well done. Oh, it's a number of times. Okay. Yes. All right. What's more? Let's see what you've got. Now, begin. I probably should watch my capture because the timing is off on my monitor. actually different buttons than last time it's tricky i was expecting it to be one button and i was like ah oh, it's not it was off the screen for a moment oh what the hell oh hold it but uh, redoes the whole cutscene oh i guess because you want to see this again there was a reward for 100 percent this and never Dropping a combo in the originals. goods. I don't know if you need all max. I'm just not missing any. Should be okay. Precise, clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, you've impressed me. <clears throat> You'd serve as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. <laughs> Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to parade captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. <laughs> you will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. Well. Oh, 
exasperate, Captain. You will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junon. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the 7th Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Juno. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Ma'am! Ma so weird. <laughs> Successfully performing more difficult formations will improve your rating. Holy what is this? Dude? Wow. So I guess mix and matching makes it more difficult. Whereas doing like all the same color. Okay. Haven't assembled your team, Captain. I'm sure some of your fellow troopers fell into a bottle or two. Try the bars around town. Get your team in order, Captain. Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Hmm. Wow. That's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> so what is... How does this helmet work? Does... does It doesn't go over the eyes. So what is the point? Just for the look? Do they have a heads-up display you can't see? I don't know. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Hmm. <laughs> Come on. That giant gun's just for show, right? Oh, it do. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than big. What? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh, um, I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, yes sir. sir. So wild. Is that a popcorn bucket? But it's a chocobo and you crack its neck to get the popcorn. What?
excited are you to participate in today's parade? Very. All of us in the 7th have been practicing like crazy. Day in and day out, drilling every little detail. I just hope that hard work comes through in our performance, and that it gives everyone who came out to support our new president something else to cheer about. I'm sure it will. But before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks back in Midgar? This is a difficult time for our city. But when you see us marching today, just know this. We're marching for you. Uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Oh! Uh, good day, Captain! Uh, oh! You're their captain! This is perfect! If you have a moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, sorry, but... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We, uh... <sighs> right! I see what you mean, Captain! We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! Look at that march. Hey! I swear nothing gets my blood pumping like hiding in the barracks when I'm on duty. What? Okay. Man, I can't wait to see the mobile unit tear it up. That's weird. It's past time the president showed himself. Where's he been? Not Midgar, that's for sure. Seeing the world, maybe? Good. He's got a lot to learn. True that. My daddy's got any idea what Midgar units can do. <laughs> Guess we just gotta go out there and introduce ourselves. Oh my goodness, am I already... F oh, <laughs> that's so weird. Uh, I love it, but it's so weird. I can't even skill up any of these to be a higher tier. I'm just, just freaking capped. Oh well. Not now, buddy. We're busy. Oh, Captain, I didn't realize. Sorry, sir. Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Have you got some Maccas? This is quite an involved side quest. Well, I guess not this this part of the main quest, I mean. I mean, it's like a little bit of a tactics thing after this, too. That is so much. Welcome. Welcome to the Magical Magnata Books Junon location. If you're looking for some recommendations, we'd be more than happy to name a few of this week's faves for you. My personal pick would definitely be The Final Flight. I swear, none of the other books even come close to topping it. It's a forbidden romance between a commander and her airman. I promise you'll be sobbing like a baby when you get to the part where she orders her true love to charge into battle. I just came here to browse the new Ooh, a captain! Since you're here, would you like to learn about the Magnata Girls picks for Book of the Week? My top pick would have to be the latest issue of Cactuar King. It's a must read. The king's been wandering for the past few volumes, but suddenly he looks around and what should he see? <laughs> no spoilers. You'll have to read it for yourself. Better start soon before someone ruins it for you. That's all. What is happening? Oh, well. Hello there, Captain. Are you in? 
interested in knowing what my book of the week is? I think I'd probably have to go with the Trooper's Creed. It happens to be a philosophy book. There's some thought-provoking stuff about how people should live from the perspective of a trooper. Oh, but I'm sure you've already read it, being a captain and all. If you want to know Are those wand boxes book, behind you? What is this? <laughs> Our girls are lovely. Am I right? Thanks, Captain. We hope to see you I again soon. I just came here to browse the new releases. That's all. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, what do you think oh about God. this brooch? It's I fun. love how understated you everything think my is here. <laughs> Take your time looking around. Quality guaranteed. You good, bro? Knock I love dead how understated everything is here. Oh, Captain. Perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the Captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. r, &R is over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir. sir! <laughs> oh my god. It's creepy. Check it out. Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. Those children won't stop staring. If they so much as try to pet me. <clears throat> check it out. His tail's on fire. Yo, check it out. His tail's on fire. Best of luck to Hundreds of troopers were assembled at the city. There's so many little places there. Oh my god! How are you not supposed to? <sighs> Hello, Chadley. Daddy, well, he's here now, and he brought your favorite treats. Oh, making daddy work for your love. So adorable. I keep telling you, it me don't worry too much. Nothing's going to happen, no matter what happens. No heart. Please don't talk to me. I'm trying to. Good day. Is there something I can help you with? Scanning potential research candidate confirmed. Hmm, huh, Cloud. Why in the world are you wearing that uniform? On second thought, forget I asked. The less I know about your undercover pursuits, the better. Should you require assistance, let me know. Now then, Captain, how might I help you today? I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Yeah, sure. Call me biased if you wish, but I believe our freak formation is the pinnacle of perfection. I don't know. <sighs> Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh... Mm -hmm. That depends on the readiness of my men. 
but you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! Yes, yes sir! Sales have skyrocketed ahead of President Rufus's inauguration. We need to make the most of this opportunity while it's available to us. So, to capitalize on popular demand, we'll create merchandise of Director Heidegger as well. Uh, sorry, not to butt in, but have you gotten his permission to do that? One step ahead of you. The director said he's all for it. We're good to go. That's unexpected. So weird. So I have five, but there are ten in total, huh? Captain, good luck in the parade today. You'll need it. Yeah, but I'll also need this chair. Bring this chair to the parade. I require it. joining the counter-terrorism unit. Shit. I know. They haven't even told me where I'm going to be stationed. This sucks. Well, we'll just have to make the most of the time we got. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet. Oh, Captain! I, I didn't... I'm sorry, sir. Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, yes sir! Wait, that's I'll give you a drink on the house if you want that commendation. <laughs> oh god. Talk about humiliating. Rude probably hates me. Boss must want to fire me. I'm busy being sad. Okay, Elena. Someone from more roaming around to find the rest of the squads. This area is restricted. Okay. Oh, it was rude. Guys, look. We still have some more. The Glabrins or the Glabrescent Bar. I feel like he's getting his hair cut down there or his head shaved or something like that. We have much more to find. 
and we still have this system to figure out with all the different squads. We're still in chapter four. My goodness. Thank you very much for watching live. Or if you've been watching on YouTube, thank you as well. Remember, there's lots of other playlists if you would like more of my forehead in your background. Got all the Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all of Remake, the DLC for Remake as well. Just a ton of ton of videos, like 300 plus videos. You got you got too many things to choose from. Honestly, it's, it's so much. But yeah, more on this next time. It looks so gold, absolutely goofy. Look at him.